Today we're going to start a three video series on aluminum, gas mill, arc welding, or MIG uh, using a push-pull gun. Uh, other ways they used to do MIG welding with aluminum is a spool gun. This is a, a relatively newer system. I don't know, been around at least 10 years, but uh, it's a very efficient method for welding aluminum with MIG. They have drive rolls in the gun as well as in the machine. That's why they call it a push-pull system. You can literally take your gun, tie it in a knot, and you won't have feedability issues. Uh, it has different programs on it. Like over here, you see these 71, 72, and 99. Those are the three settings that we're going to use for uh, welding these uh, lap joints. First one we're going to do is spray transfer. That is regular gas metal arc welding with a wire feed and a voltage high enough to go into a spray transfer mode. 72 is the next one we're going to do. That's a pulse. And 99 is a pulse on pulse. Well, I'll do these in three different videos. So the first one we're going to start with here is spray. What we're going to do is we're going to do a, a, a lap joint. And I got what we're going to do in the lab right over here with the parameters and all the materials that we're using here. Uh, we're going to use a filler metal of 4043 aluminum with straight argon, 364 of an inch diameter, basically 045. Uh, 6061 is going to be our base metal, very common aluminum base metal. The thickness is going to be a quarter of an inch. Because we're doing spray over here, it runs very hot, so you have to have something a little bit thicker. Uh, lap joint, like I said, we're going to do a lap joint, so it's just two plates laying right on top of each other, just so you can kind of see how this, uh, this process works. Uh, we're going to do it in a two-off position, which is considered a horizontal fillet, and then our, our, our uh, gas cover is going to be 35 cubic feet per hour. So what we'll do is we'll, weld. we'll show you how the machine works. It's kind of different than a regular MIG welder. We'll show you where the dry rolls are, and we'll get this thing going here. All right, this is a Lincoln Power MIG 300. We're going to start off by showing you what the difference is between this MIG welder versus a regular MIG welder. It's a push-pull gun, so it's got dry rolls in the machine as well as in the gun. That's why it's called a push-pull gun. So what we'll do is uh, we'll show you the uh, dry roll system here real quick. This is the inside of the machine here. And you can see it looks just like a regular MIG welder. The uh, drive rolls are right here, and that's what's pushing through the gun. This gun is a 15-foot gun. Uh, we're going to go ahead and show you the drive rolls on the top of the gun now and show you why it's very hard to get a bird nest in this or have feedability issues. This is the gun side of things for the push-pull gun. They're a little bit bigger, a little bulkier, and you can see on that door right there, those are drive rolls in the gun. That's the pull type. There, that's the pull portion of the push pull gun. So that's pulling it through. You got to push it through the other end with the drive rolls we just showed you. So it does very good feedability. Before we start welding, we'll go down and look at the settings on the machine and uh, explain how that, that works. These controls right here are very similar to a regular MIG gun. This is your wire feed speed in inches per minute, so that's 272 inches per minute that we got to set at, 24.3 volts. That all seems pretty high, but you're in spray transfer, that's the whole point of it. Now we're going to show you the program uh, side of things. This number 71 is a program, it means you're in spray transfer. There's no pulse going on here. And what I'll do is I'll show you all the programs, because there's a little diagram right in here that we can look at that for. Okay, right here are the programs, all right? Right over here. So now if you're looking at what we're doing today, it's aluminum 4043. GMAW, no pulse, no pulse on pulse. That's what those two say. If you go over, and you go up here, your wire diameter is 364, program 71. So your 71 means you're in regular gas metal arc welding, spray transfer with 4043 aluminum and 364 of an inch. The next video we do will be 72, which is with the pulse. And the next one after that will be pulse on pulse, and that's 99. These are just program numbers. People get confused on that. They're like, what's the 71 mean? They think it's like a wire feeder of a voltage. It's just a program. That's it. The way you adjust your wire feed speed, which is actually really nice on this system, is there's a button right here on the actual gun. When you turn it, see how both of them are moved? It's synchronized. So once you get your wire feed speed, 
and your voltage set, all you have to do is turn this. The other advantage of that is, because this is a 15 foot gun, if you're underneath a, I don't know, a pontoon boat or something, you can make adjustments without going back to the machine. But once you have it set, all the adjustments are done right here. Do not go up there and move this once you've got it welding good, or you're just going to screw it up. So we'll get into our welding now. Here we go. Do it. Right, this is a look at our spray transfer lap joint in the 2F position. It's considered horizontal. Hopefully that's not too shiny. Came out pretty good. We'll dig through here and find another one. We did quite a few here. We'll try and find another one here that's pretty good and show you that one too. Alright, we're looking in the, at the middle weld here. It looks pretty good. Probably the best one we've gotten so far. Nice, even. Nice, even weld. All the way through here. We've just been hammering these welds down. We got a little bit of break in the day. Uh, this is the last one we did. The second one from the top there. Looks pretty good. The next one we're going to do is going to be a same joint and a pulse mode. That'll be our next video that we're going to do. Uh, but for now, we're going to head out. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld. Sorry about all the beeping. <laughs>